between Eddie Alvarez and Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. Proudly repping the Anzacs, Australia and New Zealand. Here is City Kickboxing's UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, draws rave reviews from past opponents, from his teammates. He is the ultimate competitor, and anybody who saw him compete in a rugby league setting at 214 pounds, I might add, knows just how committed this guy is to athletics and to realizing greatness in the UFC. He certainly did that against Max Holloway, but he's gonna get everybody's best shot, and that continues in earnest here tonight as they all continue to chase down the Australian champion, Volkanovski. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is 31. Alvarez is 32. He is three inches taller. Volkanovski will have the two-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovski! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. This fight, I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's gonna be interesting, and it's gonna be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's gonna be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's gonna be the one that's gonna control where this fight takes place? Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard, and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. And if you start thinking leg kick, if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, he won't go wide. This guy
got a full-on mixed martial arts fight. Got the single collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the jab there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Another shot lands upstairs. Just misses with the right. Volkanovski gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Just misses there with the left. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beat his leg up. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by the underground king. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Nice punch by Volkanovski. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight. I hope. Nice oh, take there down there. City catches the kick and promptly counters with that take. Down. Great timing, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Volkanovski's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back to the feet now. Big punch from the clinch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. So he stuffs another takedown there. He talked to us about how hard this training camp was in terms of the defensive wrestling, but he certainly put in the right work. He did a great job of recognizing the threat, understanding that he could not. Oh, he might be out. Knee to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Let's go. Let's get the takedown. 20 seconds left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good punch. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out.
uppercut lands now. Oh! And he landed the right hand there. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably gonna hold up after tonight. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game plan to a T. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's gonna do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Volkanovski gets caught with that punch. Single collar tie. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Volkanovski. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him <laughs> that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up when the fight stands. Good stick. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Alvarez. Stuffs the takedown, yep. tosses no him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Close guard. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. <laughs> 90 seconds now to go in the round. Under a minute to go now in round two. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Not there. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. On, Lance, a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Can't take many of those, you better check. 10 seconds to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match 
opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. What's that last round? He's got the better of you with the striking. He's better than he is. More combinations. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg form there. You do not want to eat too many. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Trying to recover full guard there. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Fight! Back to the jab now, no good. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the And track. potentially a critical takedown here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Flush right hand is true. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, Volkanovski's kick attempt there blocked. Hands on your face. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's oh. Nice. Right. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Volkanovski gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. He's able to slip the left there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Unable to connect with the right hand there. There you go. Stay in tight. Stay in tight. Keep the double leg. Double leg's there. Oh, nice punch there by Alvarez. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Big power shot there. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. Oh. He's hurt bad. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty. 
from this position. Right the side control, yep. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Take down, lands. Oh, double leg lands. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Very tricky when you close that body kick. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Volkanovski. just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. A oh, little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. He's having his way with him here. All right, side control now. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Alvarez is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Volko. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Volkanovski. Two minutes remain in the round. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, single collar tie here. To the left hand now, unable to connect. Slips the punch. All 
right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice head kick. Shot to the body, turned back by Alvarez. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Alvarez has got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. The ground and pound has been there all night. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. 20 seconds left. Nice straight punch. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. Ready? It wasn't just the accuracy, Ready? it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push. Oh! What is oh. Oh. Now connects with the right. Volkanovski's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Doing good. It's okay. Move. Use your footwork. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really slow. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Takedown defense holds up. Punch over the top. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Left hand punches the clinch. Battling for hooks. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh! All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the underground king. Hard scramble, hard scramble. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by the underground king. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. How good is that right hand? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. 90 seconds to go to decide this one. Right punches there. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? And he continues to work the body here. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Missed with that right hand. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Nice punch there by Alvarez. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Unbelievable. Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander! So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.